Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end, but it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Oh, have you had someone like that before? Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Xuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Farzan! Oops, uh, Madam Farzan! <laughs> oh my! Traveler, Paimon, whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing! Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Temporary chef, huh? Wow, no rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo S specialties. So, why are you all in Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Over time for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> It's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Huh. That's actually a good point. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farzan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. 
Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but... Why do I feel like I'm being tricked? So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler! No seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> Hmm... I had my eye on Adeptus Temptation, Bamboo Shoot Soup, and Golden Shrimp Balls. But I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. <sighs> but that could be years from now. Oh, Madame Farazan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? So... Expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Ugh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? <laughs> this isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for 30,000 mora. 30,000? But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir-fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. ingredients, but the chef's expertise! Now, don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You can do this! And if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it! <laughs> Ooh, smells delightful! Oh, we meant to ask, have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? Why did she become so generous? 
<laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone, dig in. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Is this... foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom board. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> so you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Well, you see, uh, um... Wow! So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah! Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Liyue idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? Uh, huh? Oh. That used to be a thing? Oh! Paimon almost forgot that you're also from Harabitat. So, um... Anyway, how much does this dish cost? Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. 30,000? Uh, about that, Paimon, traveler, I nearly invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. Yeah! As a famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. Uh, but every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. Ah, I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. Uh, <laughs> uh, my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Oh, uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but... It sure is exhausting. Hmm. <sighs> now, how 
should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through me. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. Well, about that, even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Let me get... We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. Morning! Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. Great work! Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Wait! No! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue, too. Ah, it's always nice to run into a broadie and a zooming fellow. But, uh, wait, did I say that right? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from home, don't we, Ayato? <laughs> Huh? Oh, hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, of the sky-cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre, too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lily so soon? Ah, <laughs> that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing Mora at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good, spicy food. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could, but alas, it was too late. What? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, what a bummer! Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed! Yeah, <laughs> sure, me too. Wait, what? Wow! Bullchucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. 
So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the Palace Jewels, a Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? Down to earth? Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows, hmm? A bro just knows. Yes, a bro just knows. <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows. Is this for real? Ah, oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. Seriously, if I'd blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying! I'd expect no less of the bona fide Beetle Battle King himself. It sounds like a truly epoch defining duel. This could be an obstacle for the pantaloon. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Oh, Bullchunker can't eat that! Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind, I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> No one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito! Hey, where's our food at? Hurry up, I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, brother, his old ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. I never knew tofu allergy was even a thing. Okay, I'll, I'll handle the appetizers. You take care of the main event. I can help too. Don't worry, I'm qualified. I passed Liyue's senior culinary exam once.
So this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo, love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old-timey traditions weren't your style. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Uh... <laughs> I see. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Wait! Don't! Huh? Wait, what is it now? Huh? Okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh... Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish! Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet! Uh, well, um... Skipping the origin story is like... Like... Going traveling without a tour guide! Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right then, give me the full story, I'm all ears. That's more like it. Let's start with the ingredients. Actually, no! Let's start with the story of Wang Xiuin, which starts with the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's our chance, Traveler. Man, the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no sad way to tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Huh. Well, good news is there's only a little bit left. Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang, so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fan, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? Count Crushmore. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. <laughs> can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid... In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, 
As for the leftover tofu... Yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Hmm. This could be an obstacle for Pantalone. I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. Well, uh, thing is... I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already! No other reason! Looks like that's all sorted. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. How oh, time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Uh, why does Paimon feel like you just jinxed us again? Whew. We made it all the way to the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that Paimon thinks of it, Lenny and his siblings came around about this time the first day, didn't they? Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber? And you and Nika too! Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. The original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? The traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You come at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy his cooking before the original chef takes back the reins! Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. So, what shall we get? Hmm, I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Hmm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? Eesh, 
this is like getting blood from a stone. All right, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess... Eh, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. Ah! I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. Hmm. This could be... Sight clear! Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customer's palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on, show them what you've got. Delicious! Perfectly seasoned, and even the rice is bursting with flavor. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. <laughs> You've put the finest Favonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So, tell us, Traveler, what's this one called? It's called... Um... Paimon's guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name, it's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Basic ingredients simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now! Okay, you've lost Paimon, what do you mean? So you mean... We only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Mmm, there's got to be more to it than that. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh, kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Comfort? Coming home? Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. So, in other words, the secret ingredient is passion? 
Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words, I'll remember this recipe. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? Hmm... How about right at home? The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Still, please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. I zoned out just now. Didn't see you coming. Yeah, that food you cooked for us just now? It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I'd do my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here, take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. <laughs>